Kakadosh, Boker Or. I wanted to share with you a beautiful idea that what happened towards the end of the parasha. We know that this parasha is Vayeshev, and then we have Miketz. Miketz was after the two years that he was still in jail waiting. And the end of the parasha, it says that the Sarah Mashkim did not remember Yosef. He forgot him. Okay? And what does that mean exactly, Vayishkachehu? Right? There it says, Vayishkachehu, that he forgot him because since Yosef HaTzadik put his bitachon, he put his hope in the Sarah Mashkim because he came and he interpreted the dreams and then he comes and he tells him, but please, remember, remember me. Right? So therefore he comes and he says, when you're going to Paro, so therefore he had to be for another two years. Okay? And that's why we say in Tilim Asher Sam Hashem Miftacho. Fortunate is the person that he's placing his bitachon, his emunam bitachon in Hashem, his trust in Hashem, and not in anybody else. And he did not come and he did not put his bitachon in the mitzrim, right? That's why they're called rehavim, rahav, in these Egyptians. So some people ask, okay, fine. I understand Yosef Sadiq, he put his bitachon in the Egyptian, not in a kadosh Baruch in a human being. But they came and they added two years. Why two years? Right? Why not two months? Why Dafka two years exactly? So some people want to say it's two psukim. So for every pasuk, right, that it spoke, it was like another year. However, though, there's a Maral Miprag. The Maral Miprag comes and he says, some people say that Yosef said, Hiskartani, Hiskartanu to remind me, built Setani and to take me out. So therefore, it was one on each word of the terminologies of to remember me and to take me out of here. However, though, the Maharal himself comes and he says something incredible. And he says like this, the punishment was not to add two years. The punishment was one year. Because after Yosef asked from the Sara Meshkim to remember him for good, he put his bitachon in a basar v'dam, in a human being. So he was waiting for him one full year. When is it going to happen? But after one full year, and it still did not happen, now it's the time of shikha. You forget after a year. So therefore he stopped putting his bitachon in the Egyptian. And now he says, there's no more tikva for that. But he says for sure he forgot about it. And that's why when a person comes and he sees his friend after a year, he says, Because after a year, people forget about someone. They're forgotten from the heart. And when he sees him, he sees something new. And this is, by the way, also the reason why Avelut is only for a year. Avelut is only for a year because the first year you always say, last year we were with him there. And last year we did this here. And last year... But after a year, it's mishtakach minalev. A person forgets about the person. That's why after a year, there's no more avilut. A person will never 100% forget their parents or family members or things like that. But it's not that they're always, because they can't say last year we were this. It passed the year, so they forget the concept of it. So Yosef, since he went and he was punished because he put his bitachon in a human being, it comes out that really bemet, he was waiting one year. And after that one year that he realized that the guy forgot, now HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave him the second year as a punishment for the one year that he put his bitachon in the Sara Mashkim. And now it's Midah Kenega Midah, and that's why they came, and there was actually a one-year punishment. It wasn't that the punishment was two years. Yosef HaTzadik was putting his bitachon in him for one full year. And once after that full year finished, and now he says, okay, that's it? Now HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, now I'm going to punish you one year because of that one year. It was really one year of a punishment because of that. And uh, still we have to explain, according to this, it comes out, right, that it was going to be that the, the second year was the, the actual punishment. Okay, so Rashi comes and he says, so Rashi says, Etzem zman zman atzet. So because he, would, he reminded him to come out, that's why they added two years, right? So it's much more, it's two years. And they actually say even more than that, but they say, that it was 10 years he was in jail, one year for each of the brothers that he said Lashon Ra about. And since he went and he said, and there was 10 brothers, because Binyamin was not born, and Binyamin was his full brother. So for he spoke against the 10 brothers. So therefore, that's why he had 10 years in jail. But then there was another two years. 
What was the other two years? That because of the Sarah Mashkim, what Yashi said it. So the, according to the Maharal, it's only added on why he added on the second year. The first year, why did it add it on? Right? Nothing came out. He didn't come out immediately. But it could be that actually really Be'emet, he didn't need a certain punishment. The fact that he put his bitachon in it, ha, in the in the in the Sarah Mashkim, Hakosh Baruch Hu removed himself from Yosef Atzadik because Kilu, you're putting your bitachon in a human being. I'm going to remove myself. I'm not here, as if to say, right? And that's why he says that's what Rav Hartman came and he said, right? Rav Hartman, Rav Hartman. This is Rav Hartman. He actually wrote a sefer on the Maharal Mi Prague. He's from England. Beautiful sefarim, like they're blue books on the Maharal Mi Plag. And he added on that Rashi brought down, ravim, ravim shakranim, they're, they're false people. Hevel v'chazav. So if so, it's Pashut at Sarah Mashkin, for sure he didn't remember him. Right? Why? Because the Mitzrim were b'chazkat rehavim. So therefore it comes out that that's why, basically, whichever way that you want to come, right? Just to make it, to sum it up, really Be'emet, how many years, think about it, how many years was he in, in Egypt? Right? If you think about it, he went down to Mitzrayim and immediately he was 12 years, right? He was in jail, right? Which is something incredible. 10 years, one year for each brother, two years, right? Because of the Saramashkim. But to explain the concept of the Saramashkim, right? We just have to explain that what happened was is that during the time of the Saramashkim, the fact that he went and he put his bitachon in Saramashkim, Hakosh Baruch Hu moved himself from Yosef Atzadi. So that was the first year. And then the second year was because Midah Kenega Midah, punishment for the first year. This is just to explain by the two different things.